Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra and Statistics, Problem 18. This is question 18. It says, the two lines given below intersect in the xy plane. What is the value of the y coordinate of the point of intersection? So we have two lines. One line is 3x minus 2y equals 12. That's the line. You could draw the graph at some sort of a line. And the other line is x equals 2. That's also a line. And the y value at the point where they cross, so if, if, if they cross at some point, they would have an x and a y coordinate. Um, and our options, what is the value of the y coordinate? We have four options. Option A is negative 3, option B is positive 3, option C is negative 6, and option D is positive 6. So without drawing the graph, the second line really, the answer for every x value is 2. That's what that line is. I mean, if you did draw the graph, it would actually be a vertical line at x is 2. And you don't even need to know that. All you really need to know is that the answer for every point on the second line is x is 2. So if you know that x is always 2 and they're going to intersect somewhere, well, the value of the x-coordinate at that point of intersection on the first line would be 2. So I can take that 2 for x and put it in for x in the first e linear equation. 3 times x becomes 3 times 2. So I'm going to start with 3x minus 2y equals 12. And again, my goal is to solve for y. I have an answer for y. So I'm going to take that 2 and put it in for x. So 3x, which is really 3 times x, becomes 3 times 2, minus 2y equals 12. And now do the math. The, the real th important thing, once you get to this point, is really pay attention to the signs and be careful. By far, the most common source of error for a problem like this is just losing a negative. So take your time, pay attention. So 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 6 minus 2y equals 12. Now, what I want is numbers on one side and y's on the other. So this minus 6, I want to bring over with a 12, basically. So it's an equation. I can do anything I want as long as I do the same on both sides. So on both sides, I'm going to do minus 6. So on the left, positive 6, negative 6 cancel, leaving me with negative 2y on the left. Again, don't lose that negative. That'll make a big difference. On the right side of the equals, I have positive 12, negative 6. Positive 12, negative 6 will be a positive 6, and now I want what y equals, not what negative 2y equals, so you want to divide away the negative 2. Again, I have an equation. I can do anything I want as long as I do the same on both sides. So I'm going to go negative 2y divided by negative 2 equals positive 6 divided by negative 2. On the left, negative 2y over negative 2. The 2's cancel, the negatives cancel, giving me y. And on the right, 6 divided by negative 2. 6 over 2 reduces to 3, but it's positive 6 over negative 2, so I have a negative 3. Now I go back to my list of options. Negative 3 is one of them. That's option A. So that's the answer. So the answer to problem 18 is option A.